one of the one one of the expected question in the coming board exam the diffraction at a single slit diffraction at a single slit so how to draw the diagram we should arrange one convex lens and a single slit so diffraction at a single slit so we are considering a single slit convex lens l1 s is our source then screen is arranged here you can see first incident ray through the convex lens passing through the slit then it will be diffracted and joining the point l2 l2 is a inclined condition l2 is another convex lens the l2 is help to focus this ray to the screen another incident ray just perpendicular to the first lens passing through the slit and it will be inclined with respect to the angle theta passing through the secondary lens focus on the p then the third ray in the same way for passing through the lens l1 then slit and inclined with the angle 2 focusing in the point p so we just making perpendicular line of all these three rays it's also help to make the point q this image real and virtual in between the distance is y slit to screen distance is capital d small letter d is the width of the slit source first lens one slit so this is a this is b and the middle point is c each and every ray inclined with an angle theta point p q lens l2 help to focus capital d distance between slit and the screen so you will get after this diagram you can understand that plane verb front is formed here plane verb front slit width is a name of the slit a b monochromatic light is coming from the light source verb length is lambda so diffraction fringe pattern is absolutely obtained on a screen separated by the distance d so diffraction fringe pattern is obtained on the screen separated by the distance d slit ab is divided into two equal parts you know slit ab divided into two equal parts means a to c and b to c two parts a to c b to c for the first secondary minima path difference a sin theta 1 equal to lambda this is a common for all the cases of the diffraction pattern path difference equation a sin theta 1 equal lambda a means slit to width theta how much it is inclined lambda verb length so take the a in this side a sin theta 1 equal lambda by a then secondary minima first we should bothering about first secondary minima then second secondary minima a sin theta 2 here a sin theta 1 equal to lambda the second secondary minima a sin theta 2 equal 2 lambda so sin theta 2 equal 2 lambda by a similarly nth secondary minima a sin theta n equal n lambda so first secondary minima lambda second secondary minima 2 lambda then n secondary minima n lambda so sin theta n equal n lambda by a linear width of the central maxima angular width of the central maxima so this is the linear width we want to find out the angular width we know sin theta equal 2 lambda by a from the common expression small angle is theta so sin theta we are considering as tan theta so we can change this tan theta equal x by d that means 2 lambda by a equal x by d from this what is x 2 lambda into x divided by a i am just help to find out this sin theta 2 lambda by a tan theta x by d that is angular width compare these two because sin theta is very small so you can consider as tan theta so x value you will get so up to this 
this is the one of the expecting question of the diffraction at a single slit otherwise the question will be coming explain diffraction fringe pattern something like that so this diagram and this small derivation is very important try to your level best thank you